What is going on guys? We are back with another video on Madden 17 and we're doing a Browns realistic rebuild and you can hate all you want. I mean, you guys have actually been pretty supportive, um, but you can hate all you want. I think we've done pretty well with these realistic rebuilds. Kept them as much, as realistic as we can. Um, trading down in the draft, I I mean, it's a huge belief of mine, especially for rebuilding teams. If you don't know a guy is going to be perfect or he's going to fit your team well, why do it? Trade down. Someone's going to reach because they need that pick. It's a concept that works in real life. The problem is EA gives you a little bit too much for trading, um, mainly in the later rounds. I think in the first round, ironically, they actually give you too little, um, except for the top three, though. You know, they'll usually give you something insane. Uh, except for you will see in this uh, rebuild that that actually doesn't happen. We get a top three pick, and from six to three, we don't really get a huge trade, which is pretty big. The top three is huge. Uh, they even did some bracket thing. I don't remember what it was, but they had like a point system, and they showed you how expensive it is to trade up in their little scheme. Of course, we're signing a lot of players. I believe this is going to be the year one squad. Cody Kessler, of course, going to be the starter. Hopefully, he wins Offensive Rookie of the Year. Um, the Browns, not the most talented squad in the world. But getting Jamie Collins was pretty nice, and obviously they re-signed him. Cornerback core is looking a little rough. I would say that's the uh, main focus. Uh, we have trade downs here, or trade aways here. John Greco. Uh, Greco, or is it Greco? I don't remember. Um, and looking at all these trades, I believe the Ravens are the most realistic trade. So I think we take theirs. I think it's a, what, four and a six? Makes sense. Um, I don't know if they would trade that high. Maybe a fifth and a six? I mean, offensive line... He's solid. He is. Got, John Grieco is not bad. Uh, a second round from the Cardinals. They would maybe do that. Joe Hayden, I think he's still got potential in this league. Uh, Osweiler to the Jets for a sixth round. I think the Jets would be fine with that, honestly. Um, so, so far, other than maybe the trades from the trade block, uh, I, I think everything's so far pretty fine. Foley, we know he has superstar development trade. And with those stats, looking good. Same with Beckham. Looking really good, actually. So, two guys that we know for a fact are going to be decent. Definitely going to be on our radar. Uh, Garcon looking pretty decent as well. Here, I believe we are in week 15 for the Heisman. It's funny as it always tells you, rare defense uh, guy joins your... Uh, I sound so stupid. I really should edit that out, but I'm too lazy. Uh, they always say it's rare, but it really isn't. Of course, we missed the playoffs. Didn't expect to make it, did we? Although, I didn't expect us to do as well as we did, especially the, the statistics. Um, we actually did really well, which sucks. Because the Browns are usually the top three pick, usually top one or two. And with this pick, I think it's like barely top ten. Even I don't even know if we even made the top ten. Honestly, uh, Ogba, if you know if you watch rebuilds or you uh, participate in rebuilds or just franchise in general, you'll know Ogba usually does like 80-90% of the time does become a beast by year three so hopefully we can continue that trend ourselves the picks really weren't that high um i'm all right with the performance though didn't want to do well which is why i mean i'm not gonna lie we we kind of tried to tank we could have done a little better with the team but there's no point to and uh you'll see a very disappointing thing i don't know why the guy has lynch in he's not in the league yet and even if he was he wouldn't even be a raider yet either so Guy jumped the guy. I can, you see me? I'm I'm recording this. I'm like, what? Wh hey now, hey now, you screwed me here. Uh, but we did get a uh, defensive rookie of the year, which was unexpected. So it does. I was about to say, does it even out? No, it really doesn't because a 70 overall third string cornerback, even though we need one, uh, isn't as valuable as a rookie of the year quarterback, and we all know that easily. Uh, good XP, I suppose. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at who won the Super Bowl. And it's going to be the same, same, kind of. I believe it was the Seahawks here going to, uh, to beat the Steelers by 10. Um, sorry if I'm a little off. I don't do voiceovers a lot. And the reason why, I can't goddamn see the screen. Especially when I'm starting to record these in 720, at least the rebuilds. Non-gameplay stuff, I think is fine at 720. So uh, if you think I'm being a little bastard, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We didn't re-sign any of those guys. There's just no point to take a look at free agency. Doesn't look great off the burn. Chandler Jones, quick development trade, just super slow. He's kind of getting in there in age as well. Um, not a whole lot of players to sign. I don't even remember who he signed, if it was anyone. Uh, like There really wasn't a lot of talent. I mean, it's expected year one. That you're not going to get those great players. We do go with Will Ty and DeAndre Levy, two really not-so-great players. Will Ty, I like to sign, though. He is young. 
Um, we can see the combine stats looking all right. Um, but DeAndre Levy was just desperate, really just desperate. And you can see number 12 and number 17. Usually the, um, the Browns for me get number one and number 17. So quite a bit worse. We do trade up, though, with the Vikings at the number six spot using some decent offensive linemen, I believe, uh, to obviously try and grab Connor Foley. Is he going to be good? He seems so. And yes, he is. Very amazing. At 22 years old and six foot four, he's one of the best wide receivers I've seen come out of the draft for sure. And then another can't miss player, really big as well, is uh, Cedric Beckham. Cool name as well. Really solid player. And now here we are in the second round, I believe, getting Devron Garcon. Quick development trait. Supposed to be mid pick in the first. Not a bad pick. Speaking of bad picks, here you go, Adonis Stark. Couldn't pass up 6'4", 21 years old. I'm sorry. I just could not. Defensive tackle here, 69 overall. A quote-unquote steal. Not really. Let's let's call it how it is. Maybe in a user league, but just not there. Timmy Lavoy, um, pretty solid. He's 24 years old, though. If he was 22, he'd be the star. He would be the starter for us 100%. But at that age, you just can't do it. We're out of the draft. Taking a look at the guys we could have had. Maybe needed as well. Nico Bender, not bad, just no development traits, so I'm not really too jealous. Same with this guy. He's a good player, just once again normal, looking for the quick and superstar. And here you go with a 21-year-old quick 6-1. Obviously jealous with that, 100%. We got a guy on the trade block, Justin Simmons. We need a safety, so we're going to trade a third and six for him. A little over trade there. And then here I'm just showing you that I'm a good guy and uh, kind of paying back the favor to uh, the other teams that might need it since they did overtrade for our players or our, for our draft picks. Philip Kennedy, a quarterback with superstar development, right? Is he going to be decent, though? That's the question. Um, not a great start for us. Uh, what is it, week four somehow? I, I don't know how that works, but let's take a look at Philip Kennedy. Wow. Best pick in the draft for quarterback is a early third or early second. That's not good. That's, it kind of reminds me of like the Geno Smith draft. Um, where uh, there really wasn't any good quarterbacks, and we can see, you know, results later. I can't remember who exactly was there, but I can't remember any big names. I'm probably forgetting someone. It's just I don't remember anyone that was really worth it from that draft. I will say, though, that was one of my most fun promos. I made so many coins on Mutt. Uh, if you didn't remember that, it's where you had collectibles, and depending on where they went, you got coins for them. I made over two, three mil. It was amazing. So much fun. I really wish I would bring something like that back. But they don't want that many coins circulating. Trufant wins Heisman. So got a, uh, a player there with superstar development trade again. And speaking of again, here comes another playoffs loss. <laughs> uh, the record getting eh, not really better. Um, Kessler doing well, though, I will say. Uh, picks a little bit high this season. We're definitely going to replace him with Philip Kennedy if we can. We know he has superstar, but does he have the stats to back it up? The potentials weren't looking great. His um, draft ranking doesn't look great. Um, overall, just doesn't look great. Foley, really good season. Is it enough? I don't know. Defensively, once again, I believe we might be in the wrong scheme. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't think we are, actually. Ogba wouldn't be getting that much from the inside from his skills and physique. Kicking, really solid, actually. Um, kick return, punt return, nothing too crazy. Nothing that jumps off the page. 14th offense, though, so we jumped up quite a bit. We jumped up, what, seven spots? I believe that was seven, and then defensive. It's just absolutely terrible. Uh, any awards, though? That's the most important thing. Obviously, we want it with our wide receiver. Did we get it? No. Number four, not quite good enough. And then number three for our defensive end, which isn't terrible. Um, and, I mean, we didn't even look at the rest of them because we knew for a fact with our stat line, we did not win it. And here comes another Super Bowl I cannot tell who won this one. <laughs> Might have to actually take a look back. So I believe the Seahawks did win another one. Um, here, of course, Jarvis Landry highlighting the uh, pretty decent core, I suppose. Uh, year two, not terrible for free agents. Jarvis Landry, very young and talented. Uh, so definitely a good player there. And we do, of course, sign him. Could use the help. So we do get him, and then we have the uh, the combine. So uh, Philip Kennedy looking about exactly what we expected. Nolan Cummins looking decent as well, but I don't know if we're gonna grab him because we did just get Landry, but he could go to tight end. So we'll kind of see where we're at. We're number three overall. 
and there's not a whole lot of players that we really need so we might end up going with him we'll see where we're at um, the Chicago Bears are actually gonna get a trade up from us uh, we're gonna give them that see what what's what is left and they take the cornerback a decent decision we wanted him but we weren't hundred percent sold on him probably should have went with him anyways but we'll see what we have and I guess Nolan Cummins is coming to our team another really solid wide receiver who is going to most likely play tight end for us and now we're on to our second pick in the first round, 18th pick. It's supposed to go 19. Normal dev, but exactly what we needed. And here we are trying to trade up to the 22 spot, which we do to grab the quarterback of the future, hopefully. What are we going to have here? Superstar development trade. Looking all right. Not the greatest, but with a nice supporting cast and a great offensive line like we have. We should be looking at a pretty solid team. Going for a wide receiver here and pretty solid steal right there. Don't know where he fits on the team specifically. And then here we go with another really, really good steal. I think that might be it for the draft though. No, we have one or two more guys. We're going to go for a center here and we get another good pick. So really solid draft so far for us. And uh, we take a look at the Bears guy. Not bad. Just, you know, not great development traits. So not really too worrisome. And here... I think it's a fair trade completely. Kessler, Treader, and a second round for Casey Hayward from the Chargers, who's about 28-29 on a contract year. So I think that's 100% fair. The re-signing for him, at least as of right now, because of how great he played in real life, would be really expensive, I would like to think. So easily they made a great trade there. And, uh, of course, we have some re-signings of our own. Joe Thomas going to get re-signed getting a little bit in the age but he's still one of the best left tackles in the league top two for sure uh top three maybe at worst and then casey hayward of course we need to sign him that's exactly what we do just got him having to sign him sucks and then danny shelton's probably the only guy we're gonna go from there here we go with a uh cornerback not terrible at all let's see if he's good though development trade is nice but if they're not a great player like you can see there that that talent bar it's not great. I don't like that. Smelter, wide receiver, wins Heisman. Another really good wide receiver. We're going to take a look at him, I suppose. Um, looking at cornerbacks again, I think. Or no, we're going to go for safeties. Uh, Darren Timms had a decent uh, decent word put in him on the draft stories. Smelter's good. And yet, another missed uh, playoffs <laughs> for us. But that's all right because we are getting better and our rookie played pretty solidly. I don't know if it's enough for offensive rookie of the year, but I mean that's really good numbers considering you know he's young, he's on the Browns, let and like let alone the Browns. And of course his supporting cast is getting there, but they're young. They're really young. Uh, Cummins had a really good year one. Hopefully he didn't steal offensive rookie of the year from our guy. Um, pretty solid season though for uh, for the offense. The offense did really well. Defense. Not really getting crazy in numbers. I mean, Ogba did really well. Uh, picks to really just not coming through. Casey Hayward comes up decently with three in his debut for us. And uh, we're going to go on to these awards very soon. Hopefully, uh, as we're going to get into the non-voiceover portion of this rebuild, which you guys probably are looking forward to. And I'm looking forward to seeing these awards if we ever want to take a look. <laughs> I do believe we take at least one or two awards. What do we get? So we are on the AFC side. We get the Offensive Rookie of the Year award. Defensive Rookie of the Year. We were number two, which really sucks. But oh well. What the hell is this? Kent U Booty linked to several late nights. Kent U Booty. All right. All right. Kent U, you, you know, you ain't good. You you know, you ain't, you ain't shit. But uh, yeah, we're actually back with a live com version. I could, I mean, I might have already made the lie, who knows, um, but I could lie and say, ah, oh, there's some editing issue or the, the, you know, the audio messed up, but I don't like to lie, so I'm just going to be honest, I was too fucking lazy, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want to record live, so I just, I just did non-live and, oh, Larry Fitzgerald's retired, I don't know why I said it, ooh, like I'm excited, I actually kind of like Larry Fitzgerald, uh, I think he's one of those players that kind of proves, especially when he's, you know, in the elderlies, uh, Bengals with the Super Bowl win, interesting. Um, don't see that happen any, uh, you know, it doesn't happen too often, especially in a re Bengal rebuild. <laughs> it's funny because I can't win Super Bowls lately. <laughs> uh, what year are we in? Okay. 2018. But yeah, as of late, like Larry Fitzgerald, he really doesn't have the, 
the physique anymore, but he does have the uh, the will to survive. I guess we're going to sign a fullback. Thank you. I, I wonder what the uh, tag would have been. Uh, we're going to let Gary Barnage go. It works out perfectly for us. An 85 overall, 84 overalls in here. We got Casey Hayward through a trade. You guys are probably bitching in the comment section already, and the video's not even out saying, That's not realistic! Casey Hayward! <laughs> but, I mean, he was, like, what, on a contract year? He's coming up on a contract year? One of the uh, few options. So... We don't have ourselves that great of a free agency. Um, hmm. What the hell are we going to do here? Devin Funches. We don't need wide receiver. That's the problem. Uh, we don't need an offensive lineman. That's the problem. I mean, Grady Jarrett we don't even need. We don't need anyone. God for that. That was a really good deal. We got one cornerback, and it was good that we did. Probably should have went for another one. I, I don't know. I just assumed there was someone decent in the draft. What is our pick? I don't even think it matters. I'm just going to go down to 13. There's nobody that we need. Um, like, there's linebackers, but, I mean, our best bet is still just to go for one of the later round guys anyways. Deshaun Shell or Snell looks solid. What's the other guy? No, nah, this is this is the guy. Let's take a look. Normal was supposed to go number one overall. I mean, he's solid. Can a running back in this day and age win rookie of the year, though? I, I don't know. Uh, cover two, early fourth. We'll take him right now. Normal dev, 17th pick. Not bad. So, I mean, at worst, we have somebody. Just knock him out. Let's, do we have somebody? Yeah, actually, we're going to grab this guy. We're going to grab this guy. I don't know if he's good or not. Quit dev. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. Um, maybe there's someone on our team that's starting that we can get rid of. Do we not have a quarterback? I swear to God, it just said quarterback and we didn't have anyone. Like, if this was the primetime league, someone like him would probably be gone in the third round. Let's take a look at him, though. Superstar Dev, absolute beast late in the draft. We knew he was going to be beast. Like I said, somebody like him would be gone in the third round most likely. What's the Dev, though? So, yeah, our guy was the better pick, but, I mean, at the end of the day, didn't really make a great selection anyways. So, I mean, we're going to make the uh, Buccaneers pretty good here. We're going to trade them Lenovi, Lewis, and Beatty for their next year first-round draft pick. Oh... I know what the problem is. Joe Thomas retired. He took our money and fucking ran. Joe Thomas retired. I didn't think of that. That's that's the reason why we're screwed up. That is the issue. Could win offensive, and then the middle linebacker could win defensive. Um, XP, we have a little bit, so we'll we'll probably use that before the uh, advance. Uh, nah, we'll just wait. We don't really have a whole lot. Uh, Blackshear. I don't know with these rookies starting if we have a good enough team to make it to the Super Bowl. I might actually look at Kirkpatrick and Muhammad's stats um, because they're very close in overall. So let's take a look at that first. But anyways, that's most likely the team other than maybe uh, the defensive tackle backup switching. Also, kick return, punt return. I'm going to make it the, um, the new running back because I think the more he plays... I know stamina would be an issue, but in Sim, I don't know if it is. But the more he plays, the better chance he has to thrive. So we have some re-signings. Obviously, Ogba's going to get signed. Going to make that official right now. Make sure he signs. This offer's perfect, of course. Corey Coleman, I don't think he's the best player. He's a little expensive. I definitely want him back, though. So we'll just see where that is. Um, Justin Simmons isn't the greatest, but I like him. And then Jamar Taylor, 100% is going. I know we need corners, but we need guys. Ooh, 2-0. We need guys that can actually um, develop. And Jamar is at that point where he's a 78, and he'll always be a 78. Draft story. So a Heisman middle linebacker, a right end with a sack total of 20. Joey Church solidifies his place in school history by hitting a tackle record for tackles for loss. That's lame as hell, but Joey Church, who I think is a safety. Joey Church... McClendon and Haskin. Oh, he's a defensive end. Pretty good stats. 24 years old, though, which is a little rough. And I don't know who the other guy is, to be honest. Six foot six. Jesus. Do have good corners this year, though. Well, I say that. Basic. Oh, my God. Absolute must-have player right there. 100%. Um, basically, with our draft picks, we're, we're going to be using anything we can to get a top prospect corner. So, I mean... Might have to take those two top guys if we can get them. So we are almost to the final sim here. Well, not final sim, but playoffs. I think we might make it like nine and seven, eight and eight. At least a wild card. I need yes. Oh shit. Bengals. Oh, they lost by fifty-four. Whoa. 
11 and 5. Okay. Let's take a look at these uh, these games here. So we're... Ooh, 4-0 preseason. Uh, okay, I see a couple of 7-point losses, which I don't like, especially against good teams. Uh, Might have just had a good schedule because these three teams don't look great. Steelers, I guess that's not bad. Bills, eh. Bengals, we lost to. Rams, that's easy. Ravens, that's easy. We might have just had a lucky schedule because those aren't great teams. Um, we beat the shit out of the Bengals, though. That's good. Um, any awards? Could we... Uh, Elliot with MVP. I wish our quarterback would have got it. Uh, he doesn't seem to be... He seemed to have a pretty good season, too. Rushing, there's no way that's good enough for um, player of the year. Cummins is doing well, though. <laughs> nice name. Uh, doing very well as a tight end, though. I'll tell you that. One of our best projects. Like, I've never had a middle, line, or middle linebacker. A tight end do that well. We're in a 4-3. What the hell is Jamie Collins doing with his life? We're 100% in a 4-3, and I think I have the Seattle playbook on. So unless Seattle changed their team up, I don't, like, I don't know, honestly. 11th offensive yardage. What about defense? What about defense? What do we got for defense? 7. So obviously that's good enough for 11-5 and five easily. Browns, our quarterback was number 4. That's not bad. Uh, AFC, uh, Offensive Player of the Year... 91 overall, uh, Winslow. I don't know what year he was from. Defensive player of the year, Brandon Marshall. Collins is close. Offensive rookie of the year, number three. Defensive rookie of the year. Wow, we didn't even win that. Blackshear, you got to win it. Are we going to get any award? I don't think so. No award. That sucks. What kind of XP though we do we have? We've used it a little bit during the year. We have a bye week, which is nice. Uh, I mean, not bad. I, I mean, it's not the worst I've seen. Got some good offensive lineman XP, which is nice to see. Cummins has some XP. So, I mean, we're looking all right. Um, defensively, all right as well. Shields has a little bit of XP. Really need to get some cornerbacks, though. Uh, let's advance one week. See who we have to play. Hopefully, it's a bad team. We got the Browns to 11-5 and five and a bye week. Chiefs, that's a tough matchup. Jesus. So, I mean, I'm going to quickly look at this, but this is the upgrades. Uh, the offensive line's looking pretty good. If only Joe Thomas didn't retire... We'd be in such a good shot. Uh, I don't know if we can do this. Though. We have a lot of 80 overalls. I, I don't know who's carrying this team at all. Maybe it's the linebacker core. I have no clue what's the deal. Uh, but, I mean, it's a decent squad, I suppose. Cornerbacks, if just we would have had like a rookie early on, it would have been nice. What is our overall compared to theirs? It's got to be pretty comparable, I would hope. And we're an 83 there and 84. Obviously, those numbers might not be upgraded. First and eight penalty in the offense. The center is our weakest link on the offensive line. We EA, did you guys see that? Fourth down from about 25 yards out, which is about like maybe about a 40 some yard field goal. We went for it on fourth down, and they get stalled and we lose. I I can't accept that. I can't accept that. I'm redoing that. That's some bullshit on EA's part. And the short yardage, I don't know what it is about this team, but like there's just so many plays where the ball just doesn't get moved. This looks like a loss. Fair enough if we lose, this one's fair. And that's game, so. And it's thrown interception. So, I mean, we really didn't deserve to win, but I had to replay that. Absolutely not a legit matchup. Chiefs defense was just too much for our team. Snell did well. I don't know how the hell we didn't win. Oh, no, that. never mind. I forgot he had a huge long run. Didn't really do too well, actually. You take away that run, and he was, what, 21 for one? Not even 21 for 100. 21 for 90. But that's nah, still good. It's still good, actually. Uh, defensively, didn't get the job done. Uh, maybe it has something to do with actually uh, making sure the scheme fits properly. I don't know. Maybe we're better in a 3-4 with a 4-3 lineup. I don't know how that would be possible, but maybe. Patriots will only win by seven. Interesting. So they have Jimmy Garoppolo. Don't know how he's always doing good. Like, the game just has him balling out all the time. Like, they have the Patriots doing well every time. Ooh, I didn't pay him enough. 15 mil. Kill out. Not going to happen. Um, I think there was a decent safety in free agency. Or not free agency, in the draft. So I'm not going to do that. Cornerbacks not looking great. So, I mean, I think we're just going to hope there's someone in free agency. Plus, we do have those two cornerbacks that are in the draft. We might be able to land both of them. Maybe one of them plays safety. Who knows? 42 mil cap, though. We have a lot of room to uh, get a player or two. Rob Gronkowski. That's an interesting name. We don't need him, though. So, Rob Gronkowski. His stats are looking still really amazing. 
Uh, Keanu Neal's getting overpaid a little bit. Do we still make that move? I think we will. Can't go with the bid war. They always give it to the other team. We could be the Patriots, and they would still give it to the other team. So we got all three of the guys we wanted. Not bad. We got some good deals, too. And you can see our free safety or our cornerback position looking really bad. These corners need to be good. Uh, so there was a safety. Not really too caring about that, though. So we have two guys with 7.0s, 24 years old and 23 years old. Not very happy with that at all. But what can you do? Middle linebacker, not an issue. But this Cortez Haskins is so good. I don't know if we can pass up on him. Maybe we can. Maybe we have to, actually. Uh, we might move to a 3-4. I might actually take a look and see what we could do at a 3-4. I don't know if Deverin can play there, though. Either way, let's see what this draft is like. What are our picks? Number 1, 6, and I think we have a third one, don't we? 1, 6, and we didn't have a third pick. All right. I thought we did. Maybe we went for a next year pick. Not 100% sure. Either way, plenty of, uh, plenty of room here. Like we can still trade down, and it's the smart thing to do. Vikings would trade us. I gotta take it. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so stupid though. Like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this to myself? Like, I deserve to be destroyed. Okay, it didn't happen. Luckily, uh, the Vikings did a made a great move there though, because that guy seems good. We're gonna take Holly, mid first rounder. What is he looking like? Thank God he's good. Superstar of Almatray. You kind of figured it because at 24 years old, top prospect with those kind of stats, he'd be such a ruined pick if he didn't have those stats. So, obviously, moving up that high would cost a ton more. He would not be able to move up nine spots into just about the top six. Well, it is the top six. You wouldn't be able to get to the top six, nine picks out for just the third round. Grab the other cornerback. He has quick written all over him. So hopefully that is true. And let's take a look. Quick, exactly. 20th pick. We took him 15 solid players. We finally got some damn cornerbacks. It took us so long to do. Antoine Autry, he's got good stats. I think I'm going to just take him as a backup. Why not? 13th pick overall. Good pick. Absolutely good pick. EDA carrying exactly what we need. We, we're going to lose Caroel. So not a bad pick. Not a bad pick at all. There he is. A little bit of a high pick. Let's see what he is. Quick development trade. Supposed to go 12, 47 overall pick from us. Maybe you guys are right. Maybe, you know, maybe people that are, uh, you know, they didn't go to the combine. Maybe they're good. It's working out pretty well, though. Uh, I like the youth we have. Our quarterback might need a contract this year. He's at that point where he would still cost a lot. Wouldn't cost us too much, so ideally we would want him to sign here. But if he goes next year, that's where we get into some, tr get into some trouble. That would suck. So we have a new offensive line and everything. Let's go to free agents real quick. Take a look. Take a look at the players we missed on that we... I don't think we wanted them. Look at Sean Smith as a free agent. How fast is he? Holy oh, shit. He's so bad. We. <laughs> that is not good. There's some really decent names in there, but obviously at this point in their careers, looking a little battered. Uh, let's take a look at the Vikings. I really want to see the Dolphins uh, for as well, but... See, defensive end. Who do we got? So, Quinston Bynes looking pretty solid. Finesse movie. He's a, he's a basic player, all about mid 80s. Superstar. Normal, really not a great player. You know, when it comes down to 80s, he's 24 years old, so that's, or 22 years old, which is nice. But when you come down to those stats at 80, like normal, that's ugh. Haskins, though. Pretty solid player, especially since he's 21 years old. 92 hit power. That is great. Really good player. We know he's superstar. Really solid player for them, 100%. But you're not going to end up trading your real-life pick. You're not going to be able to do that. Maybe someone else's pick if you somehow get it. But that's just not going to happen. So, wow, they really need it. They are absolutely in need. Three second rounds, they could hopefully turn that into a first round, I would assume. Holy fuck, Dick. We are getting rid of Casey Hayward ASAP. If we have to, we'll re-sign his ass. But two mil penalty for a nine mil cap. That is ridiculous. He is wanting $9 million, like, in that year. Fuck you. You are not going to pay that much. And I'm sorry, you're not that good. Especially at that point in his career. He's so old. Honestly, I think Jamar Taylor's probably better. We're going to grab Jamar Taylor back. But I think this is the team. Do we have any missing players? I think everything's good to go. Offensive line technically does get better. Uh, Ziegler moves uh, over to the right tackle spot, so that's nice. Defensively, we have Neely starting... Don't know why Sam Shields keeps sneaking his way into the starting lineup. That better not happen during the, uh, the Sims. Our linebacker core is getting old. Jamie Collins is an 86 overall now. He's, 
It's getting old as hell, but, I mean, we do have Blackshear. You could play there if we had to. Defensive line, I don't know why Muhammad didn't play all last year. Kirkpatrick's overall is nice. He's terrible. He's absolutely terrible. Both of his pass rush and um, block shed are both under 80 by quite a bit. Um, every single stat, it's ridiculous. Marquette King, not really anything special at all, but... So now let's see if he can do something at starter on both spots. Uh, we have to change this and then good to go. So we have some contracts. Hopefully it's our quarterback. Honestly, I want it to be, ooh, ooh, I don't like this. So our right guard obviously needs to be resigned. Marquette King, we just got him and he needs a signature. Um, Deverin, we're going to let him go 100%. Sam Shields is going to go. Will Ty is going to go. Anelli is going to go. Rocco is going to go. So luckily a lot of these guys we don't mind losing. Um, fully we have to resign. Marquette King, obviously we're going to resign. Uh, we have lots of cap too, so this is, it's an interesting year. Let's go to the draft stories, and we have seven of them. Another middle linebacker, Heisman, obviously we're going to take a look at him. Brennan Ringer, uh, Perfect Storm, DeKendrick Hines, Bernard Gatson, all right. So we took a look at Ringer already, and Jesus Christ, he's actually pretty solid, and we know he's it's really good. Uh, there was another guy, though. I think it just said linebacker, so we don't know exactly. There he is. Kendrick Hines. Eh. That's all I'm going to say is eh. Free safety, Gatson. I don't really care. Very heavy, though. Nice. Back into simming the playoffs. Hopefully, we make it again. I don't know. Like, we had a really good schedule the first year, so I don't know if we can make it back again. Um, hopefully at least wild card. I mean, okay. So coach of the year. That means we were at least 13, 14 wins, 14 and two. Maybe I'm bell with MVP though. I want the quarterback to win it. Um, no perfect season this time. Two and two. Uh, wow. Look at the win streak. We lost to the Ravens by one. That's rough. Destroy the Texans. Destroy the Colts. See, once again, I think it's just a, a beneficial. Well, I mean, I guess no game is easy, especially in sim. But we definitely had a pretty solid, what is that called? A pretty solid schedule on our side. Uh, really, no MVP status from Kennedy. That's ridiculous. Snell, maybe best running back. Nah, there's no way we have Le'Veon Bell to work with. Cummins, he's only an 86 overall. But man, has he been so good at tight end for us. I don't know if it's because he's a wide receiver to converted, but he's been so good there. Um, Sacks. Not bad for the rookie. Uh, what about picks? Please tell us our cornerback did well. He didn't. There's no way he got defensive rookie of the year. It's rough. Will Lutz with one missed field goal. Really solid kicking there. And, I mean, decent stats. Fifth O oh, defense. Didn't look great, but maybe top 10, hopefully. Top 8. There you go. Not bad. 14-2, and two, though. That's good. <laughs> he barely missing out. He's definitely quarterback of the year, though, so that's good. And, okay, miss that again. Barely missing awards here. Offensive rookie of the year. Our guy was third. Interesting. Not even close on defensive. That's very unfortunate. Uh, best O-line. Yeah, I was about to say all top five. That's ridiculous. That's that's top top tier, obviously. And uh, Will Lutz, best kicker. I, would ex I expected that. Let's see what kind of XP we're dealing with. We can get the quarterback uh, trade as well. Looking really good. Could you imagine if you would have won MVP, though? That would have been insane. Corners are still going to look a little rough, but this is obviously the year. So I think we were planning on doing another one, but um, at the same time, with the fact that this team is so good and we just came off of another one of those huge, what was it, 11-5 and five teams, this is the year or bust. Uh, Foley, he's too good not to start at this point. I think he should actually be number one. Um... The team's looking good. The offensive line is insane. Uh, the linebacker core is it's regressing, but it's still decent. I mean, even if J uh, Jamie Collins needs to go, we still have Blackshear. Uh, safeties are good. Cornerbacks, they're getting better. I mean, after one year, already upgraded big time. Defensive tackles. If only we would have started Muhammad. I forgot to do it. I even said that that was what we were going to do, and I totally forgot to do it. But either way, we are on to the divisional game. What is our... Okay, we're 92 overall. We were like a 93 last season. Huge upgrading. If only we would have won MVP with our quarterback, which we should have. I think, I don't know what Le'Veon Bell stats were. I might have to take a look at that. 45 touchdowns, 10 picks, and like 4,500 yards. That's pretty MVP status, especially from a youngster on a 14-2 team. Um, can we make the stop? They're driving. They might bring this to overtime. 
And they do with 40 seconds. Well, I don't know. We might throw a pick. Wow, we're driving on the field nicely. Can we finish this? And that's going to be OT. I don't like that at all. Make a stop. Please make a stop. It's not looking good. Fourth and one. They don't get it. Oh, he missed the field goal. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Yay, no, no, no. No, you can't do that. That's We should have been at midfield point. What the, what the fuck is that? That's some BS. I'm not saying I can easily get there. I might end up blowing this, but drops. And he drops the ball again. Foley is shit, man. He dropped it again. Are you serious? Is is that a joke? Are you fucking serious right now? So start of the fourth, and it's... So, I don't know what stayed in or not, but there was some BS moment. I had to quit the game because they missed the field goal and yet kicked it off somehow. And, I don't know, some weird shit happened. And let's just... Oh, what happened? I'm so confused. Oh, what a pick! That's game, basically. But basically, we should have won the game, but for whatever reason, some BS... Ha oh, shit, it's not game. I don't know why I assumed it was game like that. Damn, what the fuck am I doing? I deserve this. No, I don't deserve that. That is a little far-fetched. Good play. Shoot off to Foley, and we... The rebuild might be over. What the fuck is happening? Yeah, we lost. I'm done with the rebuild. Like, the, this has been some wonky shit. I'm fucking done. I, I can't bother with this game right now. I, I'm done with it. First game, wonk shit, and then our offense can't do anything against the fucking almighty Jaguars who have nobody. Like, who do they have on defense? Who do they have? Don't know who the fuck you are? L like, let's just take a look at their team. Maybe their team's better than I thought. I'm done with this game right now. Like, I can't handle it. We we went 14-2, 11-5. Couldn't win a goddamn playoff game to save our lives. It's sweet. Really fun having a 14-2 team this stacked. Young and beast and can't win against an 83 overall team 99 on 93 D 92 overall against a what an 83 85 one of the two either way still shit I don't know there should have like there was probably is a team that could beat us But it should not have been the Jaguars at all Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the rebuild the Browns not an easy team to rebuild at all Kind of went away from the realistic rebuild not a great one in general Probably had a lot to do with the fact that we were in two three years down the line without XP sliders being up but that is what it is. Let me know what team you think is next. I think it should be the Colts. Um, I've only done four or five realistic rebuilds at this point. I don't have the list currently. But you guys can easily figure that out by just looking to see what team we haven't done. And then, of course, uh, re regular, which are not regular, but fantasy style. I believe the Giants are next. So we'll take a look at that team um, maybe Saturday or maybe next week Wednesday. You guys know that these always come out on Wednesday at least. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you guys come back for the next video. But until next video, see ya!